Hi, this video is to show you how to use a foam roller um, so that you can do self-massage at home. It's really effective. You can have, there are two different types of foam rollers. There's a one that is not so hard. I recommend these for people who are really tender or can't quite um, use as much pressure as the hard foam rollers, um, like the higher density ones. Sometimes they're at the gym, they last a little bit longer. But the shorter ones are great. You can use them against the wall. If you can't get down on the floor, if you have that, if you're not very agile and it's too painful to get on the floor, you can give, use this to get a little relief. You can do the same thing with a tennis ball. Just put it against the wall and lean your body out and you'll be able to feel. You might have to step further out for more pressure. If you're getting comfortable with that on the wall, you can translate it to the floor. I'm gonna use my foam roller here. I recommend starting with your glutes first because it'll help loosen everything up in your body and help it less be less tender because especially in the IT band, you wanna release um, your TFL and glutes first because the IT band is not a contractile tissue. So really, when you press on it, it's only getting blood flow, but it's not actually gonna relax a muscle. So you just do a little rocking back and forth and you can rock side to side on your hips. And if you find a sore area, just kind of rest on it. Take a deep breath in. If you want to make it a little more intense, bring your leg open and you can get the side of your hip. Then you can roll down onto your hamstrings. You're just using your abs to help yourself rock back and forth. You do the same thing to your calves. And even apply more pressure by crossing your legs. That's pretty intense. Next step, rolling down your back. Be careful with your lower back. If you have any back issues with herniations or anything, don't put a lot of pressure there. You might wanna consider skipping the lower back. But if you're healthy, there's no reason that you can't Roll yourself like this across the back, gently. You can even get to the upper back. If you need to move the foam roller up, move your arms so that you get your rotators. And even on up to your neck. Don't hold this position for very long. You can make your neck a little sore if you have any fusions or anything like that. Now the more difficult part is the part that everyone thinks is really tender, the side of your hip. And you want to be in between your um, pelvic bone and your femur. That meat right there in the middle is going to be really tender. So if you need to lift yourself up off the foam roller to make it more comfortable, just take your time until everything's kind of loosened up a little bit more. Once you can have your own body weight on there and it doesn't hurt, your IT band is going to be a lot looser and it's not going to be as tight. You can roll right over it all the way down. Now to consider your psoas muscles and your quads. You're going to get right at the middle of your hip bone and just pull up. Do not go past your knee joint. I'm not going all the way because I'm running out of view of the camera, but and you can turn here and here. So those are just a couple of little pointers. You can do all kinds of things with the foam roller. Um, you can get your triceps um, and, and other techniques, but those are the basics that are really going to help you feel really good. Um, and understand the symmetry of your body and what's going on. And it takes, what, five minutes out of your day? Do it before any workout, any tennis matches. At the end of the day, before you go to bed, you'll sleep really good. And it only takes a few minutes, and it's really cheap. So, good luck.